Hi everyone, we have the simple exponential challenge before us here. How do we solve it? This is pretty easy. So we take our step down. So the first thing here is to take our solution. All we just have to do is just to factor out 4 to the power of x. So we have how many of it here? We have just 3. So it's just as simple as writing 3 into 4 to the power of x to the bracket to the first of 16. Divide both sides by 3, so this will give us here by 3, this by 3, this, 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 so we'll have your first the power of x is equal to us all over 3. Okay, so how do we get our x here? First thing we do here is to take um, a log to both sides of the equation. And for what base are we going to take this here? We're going to take it a log base 4, okay? So if we get our s from here, so let's take a log this four to this. So we're going to have here log of log of four to the power of x this four. This is equal to our log here, our one sixteen all over three plus bracket the base of four also. Easy. Okay, so we remember the a lot of log ribbon that when we have this move it to this side. Okay, so we know that. If you have your log um, p to the power of m, move this to this side of the equation, give us our um, m, the log our p. Okay, we can say maybe this a, this a here. Yeah. So if we suck up to this, then we can move this you know, to this side of this. So this is going to give us our log x, then into our log 4, this 4, this is equal to log our 16 all over 3 bracket is 4. Okay, so what do we do next? It's easy. Now, we are having log 4 base 4 here, and any log base itself will give you what? 1. Remember that? That if you have your uh, log and a base a, this is equal to 1, provided a is not equal to 0. Okay, so from here, this will give us what? Our uh, x. So we have here x is equal to, now let's come to this side now. Here we are having 16 all over 3. So let's look at the division rule or law of logarithm. What does it say? It says that if you have your log m all over n, this is, okay, let's say this a, this is equal to our log m then minus, is minus log n this a. What do about this law, right? So we can rewrite this side of the equation to give us here our log 16, and um, then this 4, okay, minus our log our 3 is 4. Okay, so let's look at this again. Yeah, we can express 16 as 4 to the power of 2. We all know that, right? Okay, so let's continue on this side and see what this gives us. So we write it is this is going to give us our x will now be equal to log four to the power of two. There is four. Then minus our log three. This four. Okay. So by the exponent law we looked at before. So move this to this side. So have your x will now be equal to two into log four. This four. Then minus. Here we are having um log 3 base 4. So we can apply the change of base rule, which says that if you have, um, let's say you have log a, okay, let's take a, this b, and we want to change this to our, a different base, this is going to give us log our a base c all over log b base c. Where c is the a new base number, Let's take this to a uh, base 10. So this is going to give us here log 3 base 10 all over log 4 base 10. Two. All right, so from here, this, this leave the system to give us 1. So we're going to have our x is equal to 2, then minus our log 3 base 10 then all over our log, our log for this 10. Okay. So this is the answer to um, this simplification. We can use calculator to get our 
um, log 3 base 10 and also log 4 base 10 there were we carry out these simplifications of this from there you get a numerical value that are put into um, the original equation and, and it will give you an approximate answer to um, this is challenge the appropriate value all right so this might be end to this simple challenge if you want something from this video to figure out how even simple it may be if the video turns up and you have any question with regards to this drop it in the comment section until we see you in our next video keep winning bye for now